Well, this talk will give an overview really about what we have learned, let's say, in the last 10 years or so about how the gut microbiota and neurodegenerative diseases are connected. And um, the main focus will be on Parkinson's disease because it's the most uh, advanced of, of the neurodegenerative disorders in terms of research related to the microbiome. Um, so we'll give a bit of an overview about, uh, well, first of all, the connections that were repeatedly described, changes of gut microbiota composition in Parkinson's disease, uh, which is basically for the most uh, topics, the first step to really look at the case control setup and comparing Parkinson's patients and controls. And for uh, PD, we really have learned that there is definitely certain overlaps. And I think the, the structural abnormalities of the gut microbiome in PD are quite robustly uh, described. For Parkinson's, we're also going beyond just basically describing differences uh, between the composition of the microbiome, but also looking into the first functional aspect. So there's increasingly studies coming out that uh, look at metabolomic differences. So what are what's the metabolic activity of the microbes and how does that um, basically, um, how can this be detected in, in Parkinson's disease patients? So what pathways are, are altered? Um, and we also look in how the microbiome relates to certain symptoms of the disease. So there have been, for example, links uh, described to uh, gastrointestinal symptoms in Parkinson's patients and also interesting links to for, between the microbiome and disease progression. So there seems to be uh, microbiome differences in patients that uh, show a fast progression of the disease versus those that, that have a rather uh, slow progression. Um, so I will give an overview on these uh, findings from the recent years and then uh, also uh, share some of the recent evidence that has been published for Alzheimer's uh, disease. However, it is uh, not that mature, I think, as the Parkinson's field. So in Alzheimer's, it's still mostly based on just case control comparisons of, of microbiota uh, composition, as at least in terms of the, um, of the gut microbiome. I think there is a bit uh, more knowledge already in terms of the oral microbiome, so oral uh, pathogens that can be linked to, to Alzheimer's. So we'll talk about these things. And, and then I also try to... Um, go back to the literature and look for, for ALS, for amyotrophic lateral sclerosis. Um, but it turned out that, that this field is still pretty uh, in its uh, early stages in terms of the microbiome in, in this disease. So um, it, it, it will remain quite superficial. So the focus will be on Parkinson's and on Alzheimer's in that talk.